Happy end of summer, y'all. I think that I've finally cracked the code of catching those summer flounder. You've got to get out there early, preferably in the middle of the week. If you find a nice slack tide, you're even better off. You've got to keep your finger on that line and you've got to keep your jig moving. Those flounder are fun. They love to chase after their bait. They're like cats. All you need to do is keep jigging it on the bottom and you're going to get tap after tap. They will go after your fake baits like your uh, gulp mullets, but they love fresh mud minnows. And that's what I happen to catch my flounder on time and time again. I always have a gulp at the bottom, but right in the middle on a dropper line, I end up having um, a nice little uh, mud minnow on a number two circle hook. And man, that's what they go after. That's what I'm catching my flounder on every single time. Now you can see there's another big, but oh, that's actually my big guy right here. Set that hook, pulling him in. It's exhilarating. It was a beautiful morning. There was only like one or two boats out there besides myself. Anyway, here you're going to see his fat self come up there, fat and flat. Had to adjust my drag a little bit, but you see him in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. I fumbled with my net. Oh my God, this was stressful. I thought for sure I was going to lose his flounder because they can, they really like flip their heads up and they can get off of there. He saw my net. He skipped across the water and then I ended up trying to hook him and my net got caught on my jig head and I couldn't get the flounder and they started to flip him into the boat and look at him. Beautiful. I knew we were going to have a wonderful lunch. Look at that big guy. So thick. Here I am just reveling in how exciting this is. And here you go. I've got him measured up. This guy is a solid 18.5. I'm going to spare you the flaying because it's a bit messy. But, you know, once you get the hang of it, you can get nice, thick, solid fillets out of there. I got four big ones. Here I am in the kitchen. I chose the McCormick Garlic Wine and Herb Seasoning. And the reason I like that is because I go camping a lot. I don't always have wine on hand, and uh, this is a really nice alternative. So you season up both sides. You go really light on the seasoning because it is a bit salty. It's meant to be a marinade, so you want to just give a little sprinkle on either side, give her a rub, and then come in there with the Wondra. You're going to want to make a pan gravy out of there. I don't really like to use regular all-purpose flour because it's too thick and clumpy. This is nice and light. It just just gives it a dusting on both sides and then after that you can make your you can put it in the pan and some butter and man it makes a really wonderful pan gravy if you need to thicken it up a little bit you just put a little bit of wondra in there it doesn't really clump um, I find it to be very versatile so anyway here we are giving them another rub and we're about to go into that hot pan with the butter melted that's a half a stick of butter and look at those beauties starting to shrink right up in the pan. This was a really nice lunch to have with my mom because I was heading back to Pennsylvania for a week of work and uh, this was actually my last day of fishing. Uh, we'd had some bad weather so it was nice to be able to get out there in the morning without the threat of any rain. Now you're going to want to give this guys a flip after, the, after you brown them for a few minutes. And you, the key to it is using a really nice wide spatula because these fillets are very delicate and they're going to break apart and it's not going to be pretty on your plate. And what, you know, presentation is everything when you're trying to have yourself a nice lunch. So flip them over in the pan. You're going to go ahead and brown them a little bit on that other side for just a few minutes. By this time, the house is smelling just absolutely amazing. And then you're going to want to go ahead in another pot and just get your angel hair cooking to, you know, the box instructions. I think it's like three or six minutes. And really that's all it takes to finish off this dish because the cook fish cooks pretty quickly. You go ahead and deglaze that pan with the juice of one whole lemon. Just move it around a little bit in there. Just trying to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan and start to make yourself a little pan gravy. In goes a cup of uh, chicken broth. Bring it back up to a gentle boil. And then in goes the capers. And you can eyeball how much, 
how many capers you want in there. I use about a tablespoon plus their juice. Uh, it depends on the mood. Sometimes some people really love uh, extra capers. You know, it really is just to taste, honestly. And you can see my pan gravy is starting to thicken up a little bit. It's not quite to my satisfaction. So I end up adding a little bit more wander to it to make a nice thick pan gravy there. You see it really starts to come together beautifully. And pretty soon it's perfect thickness. And then you can get ready to start plating because lunch is just about to be served. There you go, having another, making sure everything's not sticking in my pan. It's just about ready. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Just cooking it the rest of the way through. I really like my fish to be well done. Flounder isn't one of those fish that you want to have rare, obviously. All right, so you just start popping out your uh, pasta. Give it a nice spin. Oh, presentation really is kind of like the fun thing about making an amazing lunch at home. And there you go. Put your fillets on. Give yourself a little bit of that pan gravy. And oh my God, it is just amazing. Look how beautiful. Definitely need to go in there with just a little bit more butter sauce. There you go. All right, so I really appreciate you guys watching my video. This was a really easy dish to make. You can throw it together pretty quickly. As you can see, it probably took me, you know, less than 10 or 15 minutes to get it all together. And uh, if you don't mind, like, subscribe to my channel. And uh, keep an eye out because there's going to be more Catch and Cooks to come. Thanks so much, everybody. Keep your lines tight.